Okay, so let's start with After Effects because we don't want to do and say anything else. Just let's start the tutorial. So first we need a, a footage. I will put the link in the description. You can check this out and here is the footage. You can just import it uh, to your After Effects. And yeah, I import it and add it to a new composition like this. And now uh, add an effect called Curves Effect to actually make it a little more contrasty and make it sharper and crispier to actually track it perfectly so just grab those handle like I grabbed okay so it's perfect I think uh, and now it's time to pre-compose it so right click and pre-compose move all attribute into the new composition and now come to tracker click track camera to actually track the camera get into advanced and detailed analysis to be turned on okay so let's wait for this so now it's solving the camera let's wait for this now the camera is solved and now we can see that we have so many trackers going on but uh, we have to just focus on, on those trackers because we are actually adding an object into it so that's why so let's just increase the scale of these uh, trackers uh, so now it's time to select them I'm gonna select those upper tracker and right click create solid in camera we have data here if we play it it's perfectly attached to the building and this is what we want uh, okay so now uh, it's time to move on and uh, just export this data into a blender uh, in order to export it uh, we, we have to use a script for after effects we can just uh, install the script it is dot json and I will put the link to the script as well okay so let's just uh, select the location I'm gonna name it like a track or anything else you can save it and export these tracking data Let's open up Blender. And uh, within Blender report, we need to come to uh, Edit, Preferences, uh, Install. And I will put the link to the add-on also to import the .json files. And okay, uh, here we go. I have already installed. Okay, so now file, import, and uh, import After Effects composition .json data. And now get into the folder where you have set .json file. Uh, okay, so this is the .json file. Let's click it and import After Effects composition. Okay, so now we have the scene. Let's just delete this plan because we don't need it. Now go to camera view and uh, if we just expand our timeline, if we click A to select everything, we can see that our keyframe start from zero that we don't want. Just grab it into one and now it will start from one and this is the Blender timeline system. Now in the frame rate, check your video frame rate. It's 29.98, uh, 97 frame per second. So just uh, select it because it will make problems if you don't uh, have a perfect frame rate. So now select the camera, add a background image, add a movie clip and open up the clip that we used in After Effects. So let's go ahead into the directory where we have the clip stored and now if we just increase the opacity of the clip as you can see it's perfectly attached uh, the, the plane is perfectly attached to the building in the background as you can see okay so now it's time to add uh, a holdout uh, object or a shadow catcher uh, so in order to do this let's just grab our cursor into the area where we want to add a cube let's add a cube and scale it up like this it's actually a holdout object or you can also add a shadow catcher into the same object to actually cast shadows on these okay so let's just grab it on the axis and rotate it accordingly to the building in the background so just be uh, you know uh, we have to be concise uh, and we have to focus on the actual uh, angle and rotation of the building let's just scale this on z axis and grab it on z okay so let's just rotate it on x axis to actually fit in okay so now we have uh, our cube let's go to edit mode and select the the face from here and if you click faces and now select uh, that face and just grab it to fit in there and now select the backward face and uh, grab it into z axis or extrude it maybe and now if you play it 
it's not that much perfect, but we can mask out uh, an area for this, and thus this is perfect, you know, for now. Okay, so we have this kind of track, and I think this is a perfect one. Not so much perfect because the cube is a little bit sliding, but it doesn't matter in the shot like that. Okay, so uh, it's actually oh, okay. So we're gonna use this model. Uh, I will put the link to the same model in the description with all of those setup. Now let's copy this object by hitting Control C, copy object, and let's just paste it in the other blend file. Control V and paste it. Okay. So now we have this file. Select uh, the the shoes model. And now uh, we have a cur cursor there. Hit Shift A, selection to cursor, and now it will snap into there. Scale it up and just rotate it on Z axis. If we just move it around, it's totally up to you. Wherever you want the model, it will be perfectly attached to the same area, and it doesn't matter. And you might see something uh, in the beginning of the video that, that the shoes were rotated on Z axis, but you can also do it. It's totally up to you. I'm just, I'm just showing you how to do it. And you can get even crazier with that, okay? It doesn't even matter though. Okay, so we have uh, placed it in perfect place. And uh, I think this is perfect. Now if we, if we just hide the cube and if we play it, as you can see, it's perfectly attached to the building and this is what we want. So now uh, it's time to just fit in the cube because cube is a little bit flat and if you have a look on the background we can see this a little bit uh like a uh, bumpy like it's in some area it's a little bit downward and in some area it's a little bit up so let's just change into cycles render make it gpu compute turn on the noise okay so now come to material add a new material into the cube you can add a holdout material also you can just go for shadow catcher in the object tab let's just hide these solid Okay, so we uh, hide the, the solid. And now we have a holdout material for the cube. If you want to cast shadow, you can also add a shadow catcher as well to actually cast shadows. But I'm not going to do this right now. Okay, so let's just go to render. And uh, under film, let's click transparent background to actually make it transparent. So we will be able to see our footage in render view. So now as you can see, we have some problems going on which is those bumpies problem we are we are the building somewhere is a little bit up somewhere a little bit down which, which makes problem but our cube is not like that our cube is totally flat as you can see in order to fix this we need to deform the shape of the cube accordingly and we have to deform it as the building is so let's go to edit mode and let's add a loop cut here we just grab it into side and if we go to render view and now if we just uh okay so we have a perfectly placed it. Now select this edge, also that edge. Just grab it on the axis like that to actually fit this with the building. And that's it. You can do it with uh, another areas as well, right? Like here. So let's add a new loop cut. Just grab it to here. And uh, we, did, we just need to add another one to actually match it here. So now we have added another loop cut as well. It's time to select this loop cut. Okay, select it and just grab it and see it actually slightly to actually make it according uh, to the background. And yeah, you can just use the same technique to actually make it perfect. Because the cube is actually a mask. If you use the mask in After Effects or any other software, the cube is working like a mask to hide the object behind it. So make it accordingly to the building. Okay, so now if you go to uh, object mode and just go and grab this object a little bit down save it and now it's time to add some light so add a sun lamp here and uh, just rotate it on x axis and make sure that the light is facing the same areas as the building is so now the light is very uh, subtle and now let's just increase the strength to 9 to actually make it perfectly uh, let's turn off those overlays to actually see what is going on in the viewport okay so uh, I think we have the same uh, problems, but you can fix it by moving those edges. Mm, like I'm gonna go to edit mode, just gonna select this edge. Let's just grab it slightly on the Z axis. And also help maybe because we're going to grab it just slightly. Uh, okay, I think this is perfect. And this is what we want. The lighting is perfect. 
now i think uh it's done maybe because uh all the stuff is ready and maybe we can do some compositing in blender uh, if you play it as you can see it's perfectly attached to the model let's play it and it's great you can also add another model but for in order to add another model you must have a tracker there okay so let's save the file and get into a render let's make the samples to 30 for now because we're rendering one image to actually composite it so you will be ab able to composite your own by following the same thing that i'm doing in this video so i rendered one image out and let's just get into compositing use node and then add uh, in viewer node from output attached to it so now it's time to add an alpha over node or maybe we can add a movie clip from input okay input and let's add it and now click open and open the footage now uh, hit shift a add an alpha over node search for these here we go alpha over connect it to this grab the socket into the bottom one and the footage goes to the upper one and this is also going to the composite okay so now uh, we need to blur the shoes a little bit because the the background footage is not very high quality and it's far away so it's a little bit blurry and our model is very crispier so let's just add a blur i'm searching for these blur and here we go we have a blur uh yeah here we go so we have a blur let's just attach it to the shoes and increase the x and y uh maybe five no it's i think it's a lot maybe three yeah i think it's perfect maybe we can go for two or something to make it fit in and yeah i think this is perfectly done let's just add a uh, maybe we can uh we can have uh i don't know i don't know but, but that that's perfect that's totally perfect i think okay so we can just uh, go for any kind of model add it to there and add some shadows by shadow catchers or hold out and that's it this is the main thing that we always do and make sure to have a perfect mask actually as you can see we have we're not good uh we have not good a perfect we are, we're not having a perfect mask but we can just grab this model a little bit down you can add watches there you can add another shows there to actually make it perfect you can also rotate them and also add some shadows there to actually make it realistic uh just be so creative with that and uh this is this is what we want now go to saw so, of uh, face selection i think i have messed up something here so i'm just fixing it in front of you just uh, rotate it uh, or just grab it here and now it will be perfect to the end of the video okay so this is for today if you want to have uh, more content like that just hit this red button down here also like it share it with your artist and uh thanks for watching uh consider this that i'm writing on the screen okay so thanks